What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and in today's YouTube video we have to talk about two main topics. Now it's going to be a slower video today, you know, not really that much news or anything because of the fact that I'm currently at the FNCS Invitationals and I'm recording all of these videos on the same day. So the video from like the 10th or whatever, the one that I accidentally just titled title, all the way to the video you're going to see on the 14th are all pre-recorded ahead of time. But with that said, the main topics we've got to talk about in today's YouTube video is firstly two free items, a loading screen and music pack that will not be available to claim after the 18th that have been available entirely for free for around a year now and then what we know about the upcoming PlayStation Plus pack that will be releasing sometime in December. Now I do want to mention when it comes to the PlayStation Plus pack we really don't have that much information as of now just kind of when you won't be able to get the current one and when we should start seeing leaks and everything regarding the next one so just keep that in mind but with that said let's start off by talking about the first topic which is obviously going to be Radiohead. Both the Radiohead Music Pack and the Land of Freedom loading screen were given out around a year ago now, back in Chapter 2 Season 8, as free rewards for downloading the Kid Amnesia exhibit map, or, you know, creative, I guess, like, custom experience made in Unreal Engine 5 on the Epic Games Store. Now, this is the reason why a lot of people may not have ever known this even released, because of the fact in order to claim these free rewards, right, you had to go to the Epic Games Store on PC, and you had to claim the game. Now, keep in mind the game was entirely for free to claim and everything like that but once you went through with claiming the game and everything and once it was in your library I don't even believe you had to play the game right I think you just had to claim it on your Epic Games account when you would log into Fortnite they would grant you both this music pack and this loading screen entirely for free well that released November 18th of 2021 and the official Epic Games Twitter account has announced that the item offer will officially be ending on November 18th of this year meaning in around six days you can still probably download this experience on the Epic Games Store but you'll no longer be able to get a loading screen and music pack entirely for free. So if you wanted either of these items, if you collect freebies or whatever else, or you just want something new in your locker, keep in mind you have a very short amount of time left, and even if you don't have a PC, you should be able to go to the Epic Games Store using your Epic Games account and still be able to at least claim the game so that you're able to get this free item grant in your inventory. But it is something that I just want to mention to you guys because I know it's a topic that a lot of people might be a little bit confused about. Now, of course, that is one of the two topics, and I did mention we were going to talk about some PlayStation Plus news, so let's go ahead and talk about that. As you guys may or may not know, we've currently had a PlayStation Plus pack after everyone ends, right? So it's like we get a PlayStation Plus pack with a few free rewards. Once that one expires and goes away, it's instantly replaced by a brand new PlayStation Plus pack. And while we haven't gotten any leaks regarding upcoming PlayStation Plus pack cosmetics or anything, we did notice an API update for the current PlayStation Plus pack, which added an expiration date to it. It, meaning that we should be seeing a brand new one rotating out or at least leaks for a new one being added to the files within the next game update or the next few game updates. So currently, the PlayStation Plus pack that gives you a free emote, a free control, and a free glider is set to expire on December 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, meaning on that shop reset on December 12th, we should be seeing a brand new PlayStation Plus pack taking its place and being claimable for anyone out there who wants even more free rewards and happens to, you know, have a PlayStation account along with PlayStation Plus. So if you are waiting to figure out the best time to buy a PlayStation Plus subscription so you can basically get two packs worth for the price of one month, then you're going to be wanting to make sure to buy it around the start of December because December is when we're going to start seeing a lot of changes happening to the PlayStation Plus packs and when we're going to be able to see two different ones being available. Of course, there will only be one available at a time, so make sure if you do want this one, you would at least claim it before it expires on December 12th. Now, currently, when it comes to what the next PlayStation Plus pack could even be, we don't know, right? We haven't seen any leaks or anything like this as of yet, and typically, we see PlayStation Plus pack leaks before we even see them, you know, adding the expiration date or anything, so this is a little bit on the weirder side, because we got the expiration date before we actually even got the leaks for the upcoming pack, but it's nice to see that Epic Games is still planning some stuff behind the scenes a little bit ahead of time, so that we're able to kind of get an idea of when we should be able to buy a subscription or whatever else, so I don't have to, you know, leak all the brand new PlayStation Plus cosmetics and then like two days before the pack rotates be like hey guys if you want them now make sure to pick it up as soon as possible because it's going away very soon so it's nice to know that you know they are still updating all that type of stuff and it's nice just to see that you know we are getting expiration dates or whatever and we're able to leak those efficiently out to the community for anyone who might be wanting to save some money or just be curious when they're going to be getting more benefits now as a final little note here you know for a question common of the day that we always do on this channel I have to ask 
you guys, right? I have to ask down below, what do you think is going to be the next PlayStation Plus pack? Do you think we're going to be getting more cosmetics to go along with that current, like, snow bright bomber skin that we kind of got from PlayStation Plus recently? Or do you think they're going to be going with a new skin theme? Do you think we're going to be getting a new set entirely or something like that? I honestly think we've kind of exhausted all the possible cosmetics for that snow themed character, and I highly expect us to start getting some more different character themes or whatever, maybe a brand new skin, or maybe they'll start off with like a pickaxe, you know, a wrap, a banner icon, something like that first, and then work their way up to a brand new skin for people with the PlayStation Plus pack. But of course, you know, it's just something to keep you guys entertained and talk about in the comments down below. So with that said, I'll see you champs and champettes tomorrow with another pre-recorded YouTube video. Peace out.